Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. What about you? Fine, fine. Just fine. Yeah. Fine, fine. Good. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our session number 14. We are almost over. It's almost over. It's almost the end. Well, everybody, hello. Say good good evening on the chat. Say hello. Say how you feel. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine, thanks. All right, nice. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Say how you are doing and what you are doing. Good evening, good evening. All right, I see Ivan, Elvin, Natalia, Ricardo. What you're doing? You are just receiving the class. You are working. You are trying to concentrate. You are checking something. Hi, Laura. Good evening. You are worried. You are tired. You are sleepy. You're hungry. How you are doing and what you are doing. Right on the chat, no problem. It's okay, I can read your messages. Uh-huh. Good evening. All right. I just say good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening messages. But what you're doing, how you're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm so tired. <laughs> All right. So tired of working. Of completing reports. Of preparing. Of installing. Of what? Mm -hmm. Ready for class. Very good. Very good, Natalia. Just ready for class. Nice. Uh -huh. Someone else? I was in a training all day in my work. Oh my God. Yeah, everywhere is so busy. I know. I know, I know, I know. Okay, nice. Well, very good, very good for the ones that were sharing, nice. Good job, well done. I'm on the learning curve, okay. Nice. Well, we're gonna get started, as I was saying, on our session or on our video conference. Number 14. Today is Thursday, November 30th. Today is the last day of November. Tomorrow is December. Tomorrow everybody starts singing. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Are we wishing a Merry Christmas? So, as I always do, I 
made these reminders about the attendance, which is really important. To have cameras on, to get the microphones on, to participate on the chat. As much participation as necessary, as much participation as you need. All right. To stay on Zoom. And the evaluations. This is another reminder. Yes, by tomorrow we finish the third week. So when we finish the third week, you finish the session three. But also very important. And to have your manual. So you can see the order of the topics, the order of the contents, right? And at the end of this session, participants will be able to provide oral and written instruction etiquette at the workplace. Okay. Oral and written instructions on etiquette at the workplace. Okay, so how to communicate with etiquette correctly on, let's say, good behavior, good manners, polite. All right. Um, I need to say that then. <laughs> I'm listening to Christmas music, says Laura. That's cute. All right. My attendance. Oh my goodness. Attendance. Attendance time. Tell everybody to be focused, to be paying attention. Where the attendance? Let me see. Oh my God. Give me one second because. My internet probably is not very fast today. And I need to access to the attendance. Let's be patient. Patient. Okay. Christmas time. Okay, we can get started. Anna Cristina. Brian. Brian, Brian. Is still alive, Brian? Okay. David Miguel. David Miguel, no. Not here. Deborah Beatriz. No here. Doris Elizabeth. No here. Elvin Gabriel. Present. Hello. Hello, Miss. What happened yesterday? You were not in classes yesterday. Gracias, Marisol. Present. Hector Manuel. Imelda Xiomara. Present, teacher. Hello. Hello. Eva Garnoldo. Present. Joana de la Paz. Jocelyn. Present. Hello. Karen. Laura. Present, teacher. Hello. Maria Irma. Present, teacher. Hello. Miguel Ángel. Maria. Nelson. Present teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Paula Natalia. Present teacher. Hello. Good evening. Ricardo Mauricio. Present teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. 
Wendy, Geraldina. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. And Wilmer, Alexander. Present teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. I hear you far, far, far away. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, 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 well. Yeah, we're ready. We are so ready. Okay, I'm going to... Give me a second. Give me one second, please. I'm just need to... Right. Mm -hmm. The... Okay. Yes. I'm going to paste this link on the chat and try to access. So we can just practice a little bit of the questions. Hello, David. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, you have a link here on the chat. Access to this. Just a small game for you to get started. Let's play a little bit. Tell me if you can access to the link, please. Is it possible? Yeah? Okay, let's practice a little bit with the past tense of irregular verbs. Remember that we studied this unit, like last unit, actually. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Did you finish? Correct. All correct. All done. I finished, teacher. Nine, nine of ten. Siempre me equivoco en uno. <laughs> okay, nine out of ten. Good. Yes. Almost perfect. All right, let's see. Everybody finished? In this speech. Nice, great. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Now I'm going to give you just another one. It's very easy, very similar. I hope you can get it as well. Let me see. Same, very similar, done, yes, done, great. 
Okay, here's another one. Access to this new link, please. In the meantime, I need to connect to my computer. Give me one second. Over, finish. You got it, correct. Done, A out of A. Okay, good. All right, nice. Teacher. Hello? I have a problem with my internet, so sorry. Yeah, I was I was calling your name on the attendance and they said, Oh my god, I just saw Ray now. He's not here. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> alive. I'm alive. It's still alive. <laughs> and what time did you finish the inventory yesterday? Like uh Eleven thirty. Oh my god! And when it's in my house, uh, like uh, at one. Twelve thirty. <laughs> Twelve thirty. Oh my god! Oh, so you didn't sleep much. No. And today you went to work again. Yes. Oh my god! At seven a.m. <laughs> That's terrible. Traffic today was. Tedious. Yes. And there was a horrible accident again near Puka. In, but my boss um gives me uh my, All right. my uh, food in the morning. Ah, uh, thank God. Nice. Today we got new computers at the foundation. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone done. Gracias a todos. Ten. Seven out of ten. <laughs> impressed. I'm impressed. No, it's okay. Yes. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you are not really focused. Yes. Let's say. Mm -hmm. I All have right. some problems with the memory. <laughs> you forgot. All right. All right, well, we could, mm, we could be here practicing for so long, but it was just to wake you up. Let me see. 
All right. Yeah. Later on, we're going to continue. So let's keep going. As we were saying, yes, sir, they will work discussing and describing how to write formal, effective emails. So, <laughs> this is something you have to check a little bit, okay? Look at the following email sample and express what elements are appropriate and what elements are inappropriate on this email. Yusama Miranda at corporate.net. Hello, that's a subject. <laughs> okay. Hey boss, your favorite employee. And with emoji. This is Kevin Velasquez. I sent you this email to tell you that the chief accountant check the monthly payroll, so I think you should be more relaxed. <laughs> See you at lunch. Best regards. Okay, so this is an example, but this is a very old email, I think. Because emails don't look like that anymore, I think. <laughs> All right. So check this email, and you are going to discuss with your partners what is appropriate on this email and what is not appropriate on this email. All right? For example, if you say, oh, I think the subject is not appropriate because this, this, and this. Or I think um, I think the closing is appropriate. You can say best to our dear boss, right? So check it out. Try to read it. Try to analyze what's appropriate and what's not appropriate about this email. I'll give you two or three minutes to read it. Take your time analyze and then we're going to discuss all right Correcto, o lo apropiado o lo, ina y lo inapropiado del correo que le él envió. Por ejemplo, desde entrada, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, que habla que es su empleado favorito, creo que no es una forma de saludar, eh, ¿verdad? No es mm, una forma en el, para... En el, quiero ver, en el subject dice hello en vez de algo, o sea, como el caso que tendría que ser. Ajá, como el asunto apropiado. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Busquémoslo entonces un apropiado. Ok. Para empezar. Uh -huh. 
हेलो लो que quiere el cómo referirse es como a, a un informe eh, que le quiere mandar, ¿verdad? Algún dato. Entonces, de ahí tenemos que partir para poner el asunto, <coughs> el asunto, ¿verdad? Bueno. Igual también ahí donde dice, ya en el cuerpo del, del, del mensaje, donde dice, I send you, ponen una U mayúscula con el fin de omitir y de abreviar la, el, ¿cómo se llama? Pronombre you, ¿verdad? Eso va mal, es informal. Correcto. Y donde está Bible, su, I think, todo en mayúscula. Ajá, correcto. More, pues, es el relax, también le falta la E. <risa> Nada que ver. Sí, uh -huh. yeah. Bueno, de hecho, creo que lo único que está bien es lo de abajo, que dice disregard. Mis mejores deseos o algo así, creo que es, o mejores saludos cordiales, creo que es algo así. Ya. Yeah. De ahí, el, el igual el... Say you at lunch. At not... Hola. Hola. Hola, Wendy. ¿Cuáles cree que sean correctos? Yo estoy viendo ahorita. Yo creo que Yo creo que todo es inapropiado ¿Verdad? Es como informal Ajá, o sea, si es de un empleado Para el jefe uh -huh. Porque al principio le dice Al principio le dice Hey, boss, no, ni good morning. Es un correo, es un correo informal. Uh -huh. Bueno, ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Teacher, ya eh, vimos ahí las, las partes. Eh, sí, eh, eh, sí de, tenemos que, solo teníamos que, que identificar lo, lo apropiado y lo inapropiado, ¿verdad? Exacto. O teníamos que rehacer un, un correo de tercero. No, 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 just identify. Ah. Uh -huh. okay. ok. No, no Ah, pues sí, ya. All right.
All right. right. Any volunteer to describe what's appropriate and inappropriate on this email? Raise your hand. Sola. All right, gracias. Well, con Wendy, eh, pensamos que todo es inapropiado. Mm -hmm. Because that the, what do you say, salud? Salutation. Salutation is very informal. Bueno, ni siquiera con mis amigos me mando correos así. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Ricardo. Sí, ahí con, con acuerdo con la compañera, ni, ni en los momentos más desordenados de la vida me dado un correo de <laughs> Este... It's very informal, teacher. Uh -huh. The education is, is so bad. Bad porque es al jefe que se, que se dirige. The y subject. Dije, como, como que es algún chero. Este, también lleva mayúsculas. Y mayúsculas entre minúsculas. Uh -huh. Capital letters and lowercase. The subject. The, the person, uh, the pronoun, you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You and were, were, were relaxed. Mm -hmm. um, también, vamos a ver. Y creo que lo único que creo que está bien es la despedida. Best the regards. Best. The closing. Uh -huh. Incluso el título en el en the subject uh -huh. es sí. muy, muy, muy informal. Muy yes. llamativo. It's just hello. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it's, I sent you an email to tell you that chief accountant check the monthly payroll. Está hablando de la planilla. So, oh. it's an important announcement. Shouldn't be just below, right? Oh, my. Mm -hmm. And what That about the mal. emojis? Sí, es muy malo. Ajá, hay otros emojis también. Yeah, there are emojis, and this should be a professional email, right? It's so bad. <laughs> yes, terrible. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, hay una parte que sí es apropiada, pero está mal redactada, y sent sentimos nosotros, ¿vale? por ejemplo, lo que está mal, para empezar, es el subject, eh, de ir a primera impresión, ¿vale? que es, hey boss, your favorite employee, eh, vaya, de ahí, lo que sí está bien es, this is Kevin Vázquez, porque se está identificando a quién, con, quién es, con qué persona está hablando, ¿verdad?, para que el jefe se entienda. De ahí, el siguiente es el asunto, en teoría, que tendría que haber puesto en el subject, que, que una abreviación, vea, que sería que le está mandando el, el email para hablar del tema del... Payroll. Del payroll, vea. Mm -hmm. eh, hasta payrolls está bien. De ahí, donde él brinda su opinión, que nadie le preguntó, este, está malísimo, vea. También el uso de los emojis... Eh, también lo de jajaja, ja, ja, I see you in lunch. Ajá, entonces, como que ajá, vaya. Y, y de ahí lo último, si sí está bien, lo de Beast Rewards, porque es como un fin, un buen deseo al final de, de mm -hmm. un. A good closing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Good, good, good analysis. Yeah, actually, this, your favorite employee. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, you you never say that. <laughs> All right. Okay. On this, we're gonna check your previous knowledge. Let's check the following aspects from the previous email. Okay. Salutations, closing, brief message, good grammar. Yeah, definitely, right? Remember the tips that we read on the manual on how to write a, a good email, right? So a formal, a business email. All right, I'm going to give you some minutes. Think about it. I just have these concepts right here and the definitions. So you're going to connect the concepts and the definitions. Try to think, try to analyze, okay? Try to read, try to get ideas. And I'm gonna give you some time, of course, for you to analyze. 
And later on, of course, we're going to compare. So go ahead, try to read, try to analyze, try to connect the ideas, and then compare. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. <coughs> Vaya. Eh, si les parece, analicemos primero lo que nos ha enviado la teacher y luego, pues, compartimos este cuáles son las, las que convienen. Ok. Ajá. Correcto. Number two, letter D, number. Entonces, definitivamente, number three sería letter C. Ajá. Yeah. Entonces, quedaría 
number one, letter E. Number two, letter D. Letter D. Number three, letter C. Number four, letter B. B. E. Number five, letter A. A. Ok. No sé si alguien las quiere leer o, o las leemos, hacemos la práctica.
All right, done, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, no problems? No problems, I think so. Great. Uh -huh. Here we go. I want to read the number one. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> number one, typing uh -huh. is correct. Uh -huh. Yes. The action or skill of writing something by means of a type writer or computer. Exactly, typing, right? Typing on a computer. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Business letter. Hi, teacher. Go ahead. Number two, business letter is include contact information, a solicitation, the body of the letter, a complimentary cloth, and a signature. In the signature, that's right. Awesome. Reminder email. Uh -huh. um, I think it's the letter B mm -hmm. to, add some, to add something joint. Reminder email. Uh, this is not dust. It uh is uh, no no. It's the letter C. Sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, it's an attempt at asking for something. We should have already revised and polite non comfort manner. Okay. Yeah. We should have already received in a polite non confrontational manner. A reminder is un recordatorio, right? So something you should have done, you should have received, you should have gotten before, right? Mm -hmm. Attach, yes. The letter, letter B, it is it's To another. add something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's to join. Okay, you say attach, attach the link, attach the document, attach the file. And this card. This Number. card. Number five. Uh huh. It's the first. Get rid of someone or something as no longer useful or desirable. The, oh, discard that material. Discard that deposit. It's not. It's not good anymore, right? You can see. All right. See. Yeah, we've been discussing about writing formal emails. So this is just one more. It says, um, replace the dialogue between Kevin and Melissa, then pay attention to the examples and write short emails using tips to write formal emails. Yeah. But there's a very simple email right here. Let's see the conversation. I don't think you have this conversation. Let me see. Kevin says, Melissa, can you check this email for me? Sure. Oh, Kevin, this is not formal. What do you mean? It seems fine to me. No, it's not professional. There are many grammar errors and there isn't any salutation. I see. What can I do to make it more formal? Let me show you some tips. All right. So we're just going to practice this conversation. I'm going to give you some minutes. Read it. Try to practice it, and then we'll practice in here in the general meeting with someone else, all right? If you have any question regarding vocabulary or pronunciation, you may ask.
ya están aquí. Hello. Bye. Yo soy Kevin. Ok, yo soy Melissa. Melissa, can you check this email for me? Sure, oh, Kevin. Oh, Kevin, this is not formal. What do you mean? It seems fine to me. Not, it's, it is not professional. There are many grammar errors and there is any salute, salute, salute. I see, I see. What can I do to make it more formal? Let me show you some tips. No sé si está Nelson por ahí para practicar. Yes. Ok, Nelson, si gusta. Eh, usted es Kevin, yo soy Melissa. Ok. Melissa, can you check this email for me? Sure. Oh, Kevin, this is not formal. What do you mean? It's um, fine to me? No, it is not professional. There are many grammar errors and there is any salute. Mm, no sé cómo es, what do you say? Salud, salud, Sal solution. Solution. Sa ah, no, salud. No, porque está la No, no, no. No. Oh, no. Eh, what do you say, teacher? Es <coughs> salud, salutación. ¿O cómo es? Salud. Salutation. Salud. Salutation. Ah, es que te... Salutation. Salutation. Mm -hmm. Salutation. Okay. I see. I see. What can I do to make it more formal? Let me show you some tip. Okay. Bye. Melissa, can you check this email for me? Sure. Okay. This is not for me. What do you mean? It seems fine to me. No, there is no professional. There are many grand, grammar error, and there isn't any salutation. I see. What can I do to make it more formal? Let, let me show you some tips. Vaya. Eso. Vaya, empiezo yo otra vez. ¿no? Sí, con Wendy. <laughs> Melissa, can you check this email for me? Sure. Oh, Kevin, this is not formal. What do you mean? It seems fine to me. No, it is not professional. There are many grammar errors and there isn't any salutation. Mm, I see. What I can I do to make it more formal? Let me show you some tips. Okay. But okay, that one over here.
All right, done. Volunteers to be Kevin and to be Melissa. Okay, Elvin, you are coming. And Melissa. Okay. Let's see. We can choose somebody. To be Melissa, probably Wendy. All right, can you be Melissa on the conversation? Yes. Yes, I'm Melissa. All right. Elvin, one, two, three, go. Melissa, can you chat this email for me? Sure. Okay, this is not formal. What do you mean? I seem fine to me. No, it is not professional. There are many grammar errors and there is, isn't any salutation. I see. What can I do to make it more formal? Let me show you some things. Okay, very good. Excellent. Nice. Okay, this is something we did yesterday and you read, okay. Fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important, this is, or hello, right? This is something we were repeating a lot yesterday. Number two, include a polite salutation, example, dear mister, dear miss, good morning, etc. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Don't use all capitals or, or all lower case letters. Avoid abbreviations, example, PLZ for please. Be polite, remember to write please and thank you. Be brief, if your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Use a closing phrase like best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments, etc. Add a signature block with appropriate contact information, your name, business address, and phone number. Edit and proofread before you send the message. All right, this is something just formal, formal. So everything should be formal, right? These are two uh, emails that we discussed yesterday. What was formal, what was informal? And of course, punctuation. Para que tengan una idea, igual les puedo compartir esa imagen de los punctuation marks in English. Yo creo que en todos los idiomas so important, but in English it's very important, okay? To write the period, cada vez que termina una oración se debe poner un punto, period. My name is Beth and I was, eight, and I was 18 in July, period, question mark. Where are you from? So you got the question mark. Quotations, okay? I work in Italy, said Jimmy. So this is when you uh, say the literal words that somebody says, exclamation mark, sit down. Coma, she's your sister, isn't she? Hi, but my eight-year-old boy love reading. Apostrophe. Apostrophe is very common, very, very common in English. They're going to the movies tonight. Colin, you have two choices. Finish the work today or lose the contract. My God. Mm -hmm. Parentheses, the two brothers, Richard and Sean, mm -hmm. were learning how to play guitar. And say, my color, my daughter is a teacher. My son is a doctor. All right, so punctuation is very important. So... Remember when we write emails, they're formal emails, business emails, or 
let's see, <clears throat> upper P, use of punctuation is also very important, all right? So let me stop sharing this. I just want to double check something right here really quickly. All right, here we go. Okay. As a follow-up lesson, Sorry, I still have the side effects or the effects of my flu. Okay, so communication at the workplace, remember how important it is to know how to communicate. This is definitely basic or really, really necessary, really important, really crucial. So on this lesson, we'll be able to provide written oral instructions sorry, on etiquette at the workplace. ¿Qué conocen por la palabra etiquette? ¿Qué les dice la palabra etiquette? Etiquetar. Uh -huh. Etiquetar? Como en, como en, en las redes? Yeah. No, es como... Etiqueta. Sí, es que puede ser una etiqueta, pero eso en, en inglés es... Un tag. Ajá. Etiqueta como a, a presentables. Exacto, a por presentables. formas correctas, presentables, educadas, eh, aceptadas, aceptables de comunicarse, o sea, esa es, la, esa es la etiqueta. O sea, como cuando usted dice, ah, es que es de buena etiqueta, es un restaurante de etiqueta, ok, o un traje de etiqueta. Entonces es algo como presentable, formal. formal, exacto, de buen gusto. So, provide written oral instructions on etiquette at the workplace. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Probably, para nosotros, la palabra etiqueta no es como de día a día que usamos, pero algo considerado de buen gusto, formal o aceptable. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. ¿Cuáles serían dos reglas de buena etiqueta en el trabajo? Camisa por dentro. Exacto, te dice usar el uniforme bien. No, o sea, llegar presentable, ¿verdad? decente, no llegar todo con jeans rotos, todo. Eso es good etiquette. Uh -huh. ¿Qué otra sería buena etiqueta al trabajo? Saludar. Uh -huh. So important, that's good etiquette. Say good morning, say good afternoon. No sé si les ha pasado que... No, no, a mí me ha pasado, unfortunately. Hay gente que, que exige o que, o que más bien dicho que... No, no sé si la palabra es correcta es exigir, pero hay gente que, que recalca mucho que las demás personas los deben saludar a ellos. Pero ellos de repente vienen y como que lo primero que traen es lo que le van a exigir o lo que le van a pedir a uno... Y se le olvida saludarlo a uno. Yo, good morning, le digo. O sea, yo le dije, eh, ¿te acordás de que? Primero, salude, o sea. Esa gente que más exige que lo saluden, a veces son los que más olvidan saludar porque vienen con otra, con, como, con otra urgencia en la mente de, de pedir o de decir. ¿Qué le pasa? Good morning, how are you? All right, so that's another good etiquette, right? Bye. Buenos modales. Exacto. Buenos modales. Eso es también parte of the etiquette. Read the article on workplace etiquette guidelines. Then identify the key details to answer the comprehension questions. Bye. Aquí hay un artículo sobre lineamientos de buena etiqueta en el lugar de trabajo. 
lo voy a leer, ustedes traten de ir siguiendo la lectura, pero igual después van a tener espacio para leerlo ustedes mismos y tratar de pues entonar, eh, pronunciar, identificar y familiarizarse con el artículo. ¿Ok? I'm going to go very slow, voy a ir muy despacio para que pues puedan ir siguiendo. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. La primera, exacto, regla de etiqueta es, es ser puntual. If you are late because you had an emergency, that's okay. However, a visual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you wow. will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the cons concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. By llegar tarde por alguna emergencia, un accidente, está bien. Pero de lo contrario, si vamos a, a, a o sea, si todo el tiempo es mala costumbre llegar tarde, pues no, ¿verdad? Eso ya, ya significa que somos irresponsables y que no estamos respetando las reglas de la institución. Ok. Etiquette is also important when we have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully. Do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say excuse me and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you should. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Tomen su tiempo, traten de leerlo, identifiquen las palabras que están quizá un poco complicadas, digamos, para la pronunciación, pónganlas en el chat y luego las vamos a practicar. All right? Tienen su mano, lo pueden leer en el manual porque acá se me hace difícil proyectar todo el el arco. A ver si reduzco un poco, tal vez, maybe. All right, there we go.
Imelda, ¿estás ahí? Hola, hola. Hola. Aquí estoy. Vaya. Hello, hello. Hello. Compañero, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? solo practicar? Mm, yes, I guess. Solo practicar, ¿verdad? I guess. Okay. Teacher, let's get only read or what? Yes, take turns to read and then we're going to answer the questions. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, then let it finish. I think it's also important when you have to communicate with email. Okay, este Elvin. Hello. Bueno, creo que el compañero Elvin se ha levantado, entonces voy a seguir yo con el siguiente, va. Okay. Okay. In addition, knowledge. Of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretation. Dale con el último, bien. Okay. Educate to get line are important even when you are celebrating with your co-workers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive to call. Do not talk loudly with eating. And uh, remember to close your mouth when you chill. You should remember that your the higher and manners are you under observation. Following etiquette, good lines can play a very vital role in the future promotions. Promotions. Okay. Bueno, lo intentamos.
Hola David, ya he preparado. Sí. Ok, si gusta, practique el primer párrafo y ahí yo lo practico también. Dale el primer párrafo para escucharle cómo lo dijo ella y que no se me quedaron unas. Vaya, permítame, que se me fue la imagen, permítame. Ay, me salió. Aquí está. Vaya, ok. There are many workplaces, Erika. Erika Garland. But the most important is, is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, however, I'm too late. Comer are never a price in any organization. If you get your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization if you know that you will be late. Then, then a good Erica Garland will be to call the concerned out for it and report the reason where you are late. Okay. Um, ah, dígalo ustedes primero y digamos primero los, los primeros párrafos y después el segundo. Uh -huh. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, a bit of late corners are never a pressure. In any organization, if you get to the, your office on time, you show that you are respons responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why are why you are late. Okay. El segundo no lo he practicado, pero vamos a ver si quiero ver las palabras. Ah, ya vi una que no creo que la pronuncie bien, pero vamos a intentar. Vale. Erika, it also imports when you have to communicate with employees or clean in any part of the work. In those cases, it's necessary to have good. Ah, esta creo. Um, Nowlet, quizás, Nowlet of the workplace email. Erica on the other country in the office email. You need to mention the clears and becomes. You also need to include uh, the important details. You should use a formal and grammatical correct language for email. Okay. Ya vi que ajá, esa palabra, no sé si será así, pero bueno, intente usted. Vamos a ver. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those case, It is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You show use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Será esa palabra gramaticali. Bueno, estábamos analizando en el otro grupo que la palabra este se pronuncia en español cuando va seguida de una la consonante o la vocal va seguida de una R. 
Entonces, por ende, grammatically. Es como que en español, ¿verdad? Grammatically. La otra. La otra es knowledge. Es como no, ¿verdad? Le dice how good, how good, knowledge. 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 Vaya, vamos a ver la tercera. If in addition, knowledge or telephone etiquette in the workplace is very excellent. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during or daily work. Be police when you tell to your explore on the supervisor. supervisor. Listen to what they say. Care um, careful and do not interest. Be sure your voice in the clear when you are fit to avoid wrong interpretation. Pro interpretation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Voy yo. Mm -hmm. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and not and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid ground interpretations. Okay. Vamos a ver el último. Educate girlies are important even when you are celebrating with your co-workers. Con In your head a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, empty, receive the call. Do not tell low squalls eating and remember to close your mouth when you sip. You should remember that your behavior and manner and your under observation. Holy uh, education girls can play a very virus role for future promotion. Okay, Voy yo. etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your co-workers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not, do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotion. Teacher. Tell me. Um, I have a question. Um, mm -hmm. What do you say for your... Following, 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 following. Yes. Oh, following. Okay. Thank. Um. La otra sería, pero la otra. No leave es en la tercer párrafo. Dice in addition, no leave o cómo es. Knowledge. Knowledge. Con como que sea al final. In addition, no ledge. Viene de no. I know, you know, I don't know. No ledge. No ledge. Yes. La otra donde dice, listen to what they say ca carefully. Carefully. No. Carefully. Uh -huh. Care, y luego le agrega fully. Carefully. Care, care, carefully. Okay. Um... Y donde dice, and do not interrupt. Eh, así. Oh. Interrupt. Do interrupt. not interrupt. Mm -hmm. Interrupt. Ok. Yo creo que eso es más que todo. Right. No sé si David tiene algo otra. El 1 al 10, ¿cuánto nos pone, teacher? <risa> Good job. Good job. 
Muy bien, de hecho, de eso se trata, de, de, de hacer la lectura en voz alta para que la otra persona que nos está escuchando, pues pueda practicar a la vez que está practicando el listening, la lectura y la entonación y también pueda, pues también mejorar de la misma forma si necesita alguna, alguna producción, así que lo sea muy bien. Puro robot, nos escuchamos, Patricia. No, gracias. Ya regresamos. Let's go to the main room. Ok. Ten, ten teacher, thank you. No problem. Okay, volunteers to read. Alguien quiere leer el primer párrafo? Somebody? Somebody? Hey, teacher. Go. Espérame que no veo bien. A ver si. Got etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you have an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual late, late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Very good. Second paragraph, etiquette is also important. Elija a alguien, Ricardo. Yo, okay. Um, vamos a ver. Brian. Brian. Brian, Brian. Brian. Si no, si no da él, Iván, teacher. Okay. Hello. Can you read the second paragraph? Um, okay. All right. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Etiquette is also important when you how to communicate with employers or clients any part of the world. In those case, in that case, you know, in those, those, is teacher? In those cases, yes. In those cases, it's necessary to have a good, good, uh, knowledge. Knowledge of the world base. It may educate of the other countries. In the official email, you need to mention the object clarity and be consigned. Also need to include all 
the important details. You show of you show use formal and grammatically. Grammatically. Grammatically correct language for emails. Very good. Can you choose somebody else? Choose another person, please. Okay. Oh, gracias. Okay. okay. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on a telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employers or your supervisors. Listen to what they say car carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Very good. Choose someone else for the last paragraph, please. Um, Natalia Membreño. Natalia. Okay, I choose another person. Elvin. Okay. Elvin. Get get lines are important event when you are servicing when your call co workers is you get a call when you are Aiden say, Ed, excuse me, and the uh, and then raise the tickle. The metal loading will Aiden um, remember to close your mouth when you chat. You shall remember to you that you be. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso, Miss? Behaviors. Be behavior. Mm -hmm. Um, many manner manners are, are under observation following etiquette guideline can play uh, a very vital role for future promotion okay good i checked the chat and i didn't find any difficult words so that means that you know all the words so Etiquette guidelines, the guidelines, guidelines, right? Guidelines. Yeah, following, following, following. etiquette. Yeah, following. guidelines can play a vital role for future promotions, all right? So there all are right. some, um, no, no problem, it's okay. You did a great job. All right. We have to complete this exercise. We're gonna do it tomorrow because I bet you're too tired and so people are ready for the attendance please pay attention say hi say hello yeah. Nelson is clapping he's happy he's oh. going to bed they woke up as well oh my god oh these earphones i don't get used to them all right grass is laughing she's not too sleepy today because she didn't go to chela de mango today <laughs> Where did you go today, Gracia? Um, I go, no, I went, sería, mm -hmm. I went to San Pablo Tacachico. Close. Sí. Close, yes, right. yes. That is la libertad, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And, bueno, después. Later. 
later I went to El Sitio del Niño. I visit producers and I drink coffee and talk with them. Nice. <laughs> okay. Don't you have it? Oh, I was going to ask you. I have a friend who is an agronomer from Universidad Salvador. So in case you need any any other employee, just let me know. It's really good. <gasps> Thanks. It's very, very nice. Yeah, maybe no, I... You can send me your um email address and I and I and I can ask her to send you the the resume. She's been working with um I El BCR, but she finished the project, so she's she's looking for another opportunity. Really? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Mm -hmm. She just graduated actually this year, I think. But but she has a lot of experience. Qué genial. Muchísimas gracias. All right. I'll let her know. All right, let me see. Ana Cristina. Gone. <laughs> Brian Lises. Still here. <laughs> David Miguel. Present teacher. Deborah Beatriz. Doris. Elvin. Present Miss. All right. Gracias. Present. And good. good night. Hector. Imelda. Present teacher. Good night. Ivan. Present teacher. All right, Joanna. Jocelyn. Present. Laura. Maria Irma. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Miguel Angel. Nelson. Good night. Good night. Pablo Natalia. Present teacher. Good night. <laughs> Ricardo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Wendy. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Hey, Wilmer. Present teacher. Good, good night. Good night. Okay. See you tomorrow. Rest. Recover and recharge. <laughs> okay.